Yo, YouTube, <laughs> Juju Zero, we are back. It's been like 40 minutes since I just recorded my last video, but these gonna be two separate vids though. Kind of focusing on the same topic though. Again, it's an autofocus. Sorry, um, if it's going out, gotta keep the mic kind of low. Sorry if you can't hear me. Gotta clear some space on my memory card as well. I only got 16 minutes. So anyway, this ain't gonna be even that long. It's it's it's, it's almost, this almost like a two part. I might have to throw these holes back to back type shit. I just called my dog back in after I got off the phone. Like, we was talking before I started recording. So I called him back to finish up our previous conversation. Man, most shit just kept flowing out, man. I said, man, I gotta, I gotta put this. I, you, you know how, like, when an artist be like, like Wayne or some shit will say, man, that shit was just flowing. I had her hit the studio to record. Man, I'm telling y'all, niggas, I'm, the, the brain is just working right now, man. It's more the same, though. It's more the same shit about just. You niggas not really taking yourself serious, man. Like, it took me a while, really, to really. Get that kind of mindset. I really ain't had the kind of mindset I got right now. So that was like 23. That was my first major, major transition. Again, I had broke up with like my longtime girlfriend because just mindsets was different. Um, and I was just coming into a lot more knowledge from a lot more older people, from a lot more sources of like news articles, from a lot more YouTube, um, like content and shit. And I'm saying every bit of media that you consume is is positive or thought provoking. You don't gotta try to be out here being no fake woke ass nigga just cause you listen to a podcast. That shit don't make you cool nigga. You know what I'm saying? Type shit like if you feel like you absorbing something that's that's beneficial for you, cool, lock in, absorb that shit. If you got homies and you trying to put them on, cool, put them on. But don't be out here thinking you better than some nigga or better than the next person just cause you you feel me you getting a little bit of knowledge or you getting something that you feel like it's some free game. Don't be that nigga. That shit lame. So Anyway, anyway, it's just more back to like you niggas not really taking yourself serious. Like I've been one of these like videos I watched like a long time ago. One of my main I will forever shout this shit out is a channel called Chronicles of Judah. I don't even think he upload no more on YouTube for for years. But I mean I tell you I watched every video on on fucking Judah channel like and it's not always the you again you have to you have to have discernment. So you can't just take everything you hear from somebody and that goes from whatever if you're one of them like civil rights type of niggas and you listen to Martin Luther King speeches and you listen to Malcolm X speeches and you read the bottom autobiography everything that everyone says is not gonna fit you you don't have to conform to every bit of that person's ideology you know what I'm saying you can take bits and pieces and add that to your own perspective like I said I'm a big believer in perspective if you know me I don't I have like maybe three friends and I have a, a, I have people that I fuck with, but I, three like niggas that I die for, I kill for, we we fucking go to jail together. And my brother, obviously, that go without saying, that's my brother. Um, but like, if you know me, I don't talk my, I don't talk politics, I don't talk religion, I don't talk none of that shit with nobody except like my niggas, my three niggas, bro. Because people don't really give a fuck what you're talking about. First of all, like people not really down to have no thought provoking conversation and take bits and pieces of your perspective and add it to their own. They just down to argue. I don't I don't argue with nothing. This shit really be about energy. My next video gonna be about just energy, bro. I'm in a whole different like space. I'm telling you niggas, man. My next video gonna really be about energy. Cause energy be meaning a lot, bro. Just what you give your energy to and the energy you allow into yourself, man. That shit be that shit be be something, boy. But and we're we gonna touch on that later. That's another video down the line. Ugh. But man, if I could talk to every I talk to like high school age niggas, cause I really want you niggas to lock in before you even get into this shitty adult world, man. Like and start taking yourself serious, man. Like, protect your seed. If you out here doing your thing, scrap that shit up, man. Protect your seed. That is a big deal. That's a lot of your energy, and that's a lot of power that you carry. But niggas don't, niggas don't feel that shit. Niggas think it's just, I'm going to be out trying to get no ass. I've had enough ass for a lifetime, it, 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 and it did, done me no good. It, what, what the fuck do it do? What do it do for you? But be a fucking few minutes of pleasure. Like, that shit is nothing. That shit is weak. Don't even fall into that trap. That shit, bullshit. Start, like, really, really taking yourself serious. If you don't agree with something like a girl is doing or something, don't lower your standards of that shit. Don't think that shit has to be acceptable just because the majority are doing that. Like, these women will tell each other quick. Oh, if you want a nigga to pay your bills, <laughs> they'll tell you that quick. If you want a nigga to pay your bills, don't go looking for... Uh, don't go settling for something less. Wait till you find that. That's bullshit. It, it's a. It's some truth to that. Like of don't settle, or don't lower your expectations. But not in the way these hoes be saying that shit. That is some complete bullshit. That's borderline delusion. It's fucking crazy. Don't get into that shit. Don't fall into that trap. 
if you have expectations of a woman, like, and again, I don't even want to put you niggas, don't even fall into the woman trap. Don't even worry about that. I'm going to scrap that whole idea. We'll have that talk later. Don't even scrap the whole, but don't even worry about women, period. But if you got certain expectations of women and even of your friends, don't even, don't lower your expectations, bro. Don't put yourself in some shit. Like if we, I be telling niggas like, let's say this, the, I ain't even got nothing in here, man. Let's say this, the, let's say this, the barrel, right? Some polo red cologne. Cause I like to smell like a, a cool ass nigga. Let's say this is the barrel, right? 90% of us niggas, we right here under the under the polo man feet we right here with my middle finger at. you can see my middle finger again it's out of focus i apologize we right here at the bottom bottom of the motherfucking vial we at the bottom right 90 percent of us niggas that's watching this video if you at the bottom of the fucking barrel and you looking around for a bitch or for a homeboy or for some you looking around the bottom of the barrel nigga all you're gonna see is bottom of the barrel ass bitches all you're gonna see is bottom of the barrel ass niggas why are you looking? Why, why at, if you at the bottom, why are you even looking? Nigga, you should be looking up. Close your motherfucking eyes and 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 just walk motherfucking forward. Shut, don't look for shit. Don't look for friends. Don't look for women. If you at the bottom of the barrel, my nigga, climb up first. Now you by the polo man. Now you ain't by his feet, bitch. You by the man. You by the middle. You middle class, nigga. Now when you get there, you seeing so many different type of women. You seeing so many different type of friends who actually have their own shit going on, who can actually loop you in on some shit. You seeing a whole... These people look like fucking aliens because you never had to know how to engage with normal people. You always been engaging with bottom of the barrel ass bitches and, and niggas. Who wants that? That gets you nowhere. That keeps you at the bottom. If you covered in shit and you looking around for a rag to clean yourself, everybody who who can hand you a rag? They all covered in shit too. What the fuck are you doing? Get your ass from the bottom. You niggas really gotta like lock in, man, into whatever the fuck it is that you think you want to do. You ain't gotta be locked into one path. If the shit branches off or if your mind changes, embrace that. Like that's cool. I'm to the point. I was talking to my sister the other day. Shout out my sister, a real ass woman, a real ass wife, a, a great mother, great wife. Not one of these today women. My sister's 10 years older than me. Not from this generation. Thank the fucking Lord. Um, because this generation is just is, is just toxic as fuck. The men, the women. Again, there's not no women bashing. It's just real shit. Like, my sister's a real ass woman, right? So I was talking to her the other day and I was telling her, like, I'm in the in an era of like emotional intelligence and just like emotional maturity. Like stoicism, being able to control your reactions and control your emotions, that's that's sexy to these high class bitches. That's that's mastery over yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm trying not to take it there, but like get too deep on this shit. But like you know what I'm saying? Like you niggas really gotta lock in, man. You niggas be playing, man. You niggas be letting these bitches play with you. <coughs> you niggas be letting your homeboys throw you off track, man. Like, a nigga that ain't got shit going on, how he gonna tell you what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, you niggas lock in, man. I can't ex ex express it enough, man. Like, be somebody of value, bro. Like, I'm working on that myself, man. Like, you really have to ask yourself, yeah, okay, I wanna be in this world. I wanna be this type of dude. But what does that, what does that look like on me? What do I have to be to get in that world? What does that world want with me? Would they want me there? Oh, I want this fine ass bitch. She's a doctor. She's smart. She's intelligent. She's a uh, uh, gr uh, great fucking person. She talks. She listens. She spreads knowledge. She not no bougie bitch. She don't own a single designer item. She don't even get in all that shit. She don't need no nigga for no money. She both her parents married, been married 50 years. She's got good values, good more. I want that bitch. What do that bitch want with you, my nigga? You really got to be honest with yourself. You really got to look at yourself like you niggas is not. And they go for the women too, but the women don't. I'm not out trying to talk to the women. The women don't give a fuck. The women don't want to listen. I don't give a fuck. That's for somebody else to do. That's not your job. It's not to be the champion of the goddamn women. Like, you goofy-ass niggas. Every, I got homegirls that... <laughs> I'm all over the place with this shit today, but we're going to wrap this up in like two minutes, though. But I got homegirls that'll really be like... I, just, I hang out with more, more girls than females. I mean, more... Dumbass nigga What the fuck you talking about I hang out with more girls than niggas Right Been that way since high school You always saw me with the bad bitches And, and shit Been that way since middle school Really You always saw me with the hoes 
Niggas is lame. Niggas be in competition. Niggas be trying to play cool. I always been a goofy nigga, a laid back nigga. I don't be trying to be too motherfucking cool, be too overly serious. Niggas be weak as fuck. Niggas act like hoes anyway. So you might as well be around a, a pretty face if you're gonna be around a bunch of bitches anyway. Why be around some some fake ass gangster bitches? Why might just be around the pretty hoes, right? Type of nigga. So I always been around the bitches. So I got homegirls that'll really be like, oh girl, let's go so and so, let's go do this, let's go do that type shit. And then one of them, oh, text that nigga you been talking, text that one older nigga, text that one nigga you be, text that one nigga you be messing with, see if he'll pay for us to go to the fair, see if he'll pay for us to go to the movies, see if he'll pay for us to go out of motherfucking town, if, if the nigga's like that, then he got that kind of money. And these girls really be texting these niggas, and these niggas be, yeah, I'll pay, goofy ass niggas, yeah, I'll send y'all some goofy nigga, dumb ass nigga, I hate niggas like that, bro, because it's just, not, if you if you affluent and you feel like doing that, you feel like throwing your money away, cool, more power to you, bro. If you feel like that's going to get you some pussy or, or some ass and you worried about that type of shit, what, whatever that do for you, sure, cool, nigga. More power to you. You can never be me. You're not even my type of nigga to be my homeboy moving like that. We don't move like that. My, my niggas don't move like that. That's that's crazy shit. I really got homegirls that'll put their fucking cash app on a story, on a birthday, or on a motherfucking random Saturday. I'd be like, girl, you gotta take that shit. That nigga for the pay for your motherfucking ass. You, you sound crazy as hell. No, uh, watch, watch, watch. And what you niggas do? Go to sending money, goofy. Are you serious? You niggas don't even be knowing these, man. You niggas is not. You niggas are not locked in, bro. Like you niggas is not taking y'all self serious. Y'all are not valuing yourself. And it's a, it's a deeper problem. It's, it's, it's a. I hate. It's kind of ingrained in, in some of you niggas, man, and some of us. Like, not to value yourself because society don't necessarily value you that way especially if you're a person of color you know what i'm saying like being a man in general right now is kind of devalued that's just the state of the world it ain't always been like that the women you know had no power before they could vote before they could do all this and all that stuff it, it, you know whatever you roll with the times not saying oh take the power back no bullshit like that. i'm just saying right now society just kind of devalues men and women to a certain extent it, it, it's, it's society is kind of chaotic right now But that's a whole nother topic That's what I'm saying I don't get too much into shit like that But that's just a little taste of my type of shit But you, you niggas gotta start valuing yourself man You niggas do, do not understand Like the kind of power you got man Like as a strong man Like you gotta You gotta start taking yourself serious bro The world don't take you serious The world look down on you Don't look down on yourself Don't fall into that trap man Lock the fuck in Climb that ladder bro Moral of this story This is this is gonna be Moral of the story episode 2 Probably I told you We switching the title up Moral of this story man I'm, I was all over the place With this one man But I say the moral of this story Is Is climb that ladder man Invest in yourself Not even just money wise Just invest your time And energy in yourself Just be invested in being a high value person. You ain't gotta be high value to no one else. You ain't gotta be high value because you want a bad bitch. Don't even worry about that, bro. Be high value to yourself, bro, to your family, to your friends, to your your inner circle. Just be a just be a high value person, bro. Like and again, I don't mean necessarily money. Just just lock in, man. The moral of the story for every episode could really just be lock in. But last one was lock in. This one is just value yourself and try to become a high value person. Like, but please, my niggas, my young men, because this shit is geared towards men, you know, mostly. Young men. I'm going to drop some shit for the ladies, too, eventually. But ladies don't really like to hear that shit coming from a man. Um, but, like I said, just value yourself. And become a person that others have no choice but to value. Your presence and your your skills and your knowledge and your 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 presence, you know what I'm saying, type shit, just, just lock into yourself, man, and value yourself, my niggas, you got value, don't let society devalue, don't let these women devalue you, value your fucking self, Jujiro, another episode, more of the story, I'm out this bitch, peace, 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 <laughs>